you should expect to make some compromises with a cheap TV. But perhaps not as many as you might think. Hisense's budget priced Uzix HUL TV, for instance, offers excellent color performance thanks to its use of quantum dots and a local dimming backlight else. Moreover, it runs the powerful Google TV platform with hands-free Google Assistant and even supports Apple AirPlay. The 65-inch model we tested officially retails for $899.99, but we've seen it available for quite a bit less already. Mediocre contrast keeps it from really standing out compared with slightly pricier models like last year's Hisense UIG. $1,299.99, but it's still a compelling enough value to earn our Editor's Choice Award for Budget TV. It doesn't look cheap. The Uzix H looks unassuming but fairly elegant for a budget tee. It avoids the typical plain black bezels for a thin black plastic band that's less than an eighth of an inch thick around the top and sides of the panel, while a quarter inch thick black border divides the edge of the glass and the active screen. A quarter inch wide brush metallic bezel runs along the bottom of the screen and sports a white Hisense logo in the middle. A small, black, trapezoidal outcropping under the bezel holds the TV infrared sensor, far field microphone array along with a switch to manually disable it and a multi-purpose power input button. Apart from the connector for the power cable on the right side, all the ports sit on the left side of the rear panel and mostly face left. The left accessible connections include three HDMI ports, one ER, two USB ports, an antenna or cable connector, and four 3.5 ohm ports for headphones, composite video input, serial control, and service, a fourth HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and an optical audio output face directly back. The black, rectangular remote uses a plastic material and sports a large, white, circular navigation pad near the top. Power, input, settings, user account, and Google Assistant buttons sit above the navigation pad, along with a pinhole microphone and indicator LED. Volume and channel rockers and playback controls reside below the navigation pad, while dedicated service buttons for Amazon Prime Video Disney Plus, Netflix, Peacock, Tubi, and YouTube are further down. Google TV, Google Assistant, and Apple AirPlay boost usability. The Uzix H uses Google TV for its interface and connected features. It's a powerful and functional smart TV interface that Sony and some TCL TV also feed. It covers all major video streaming services, including Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, and YouTube. It also supports screen mirroring via both Apple AirPlay 2 and Google Cast. The former is particularly welcome because AirPlay isn't available on the Chromecast with Google TV Media Streamer. Google TV also enables Google Assistant, which lets you search for content, control both the TV and compatible smart home devices, get useful information like sports scores and weather, and perform other tasks with your voice. The Uzix H features a far field microphone array on the bottom edge of the screen, so you can use Google Assistant hands free simply by saying Hey Google followed by your command. Alternatively, you can press the Google Assistant button on the remote and speak into it. If you don't want the TV to listen at all times, you can manually turn off the microphone by sliding the switch next to the indicator LED on the bottom of the TV. However, this causes the LED to glow in an irritatingly bright yellow shade. You can turn off those lights by going into Google TV system settings and directly shutting down the Google app. But this turns off Google Assistant entirely, even through the remote. Hopefully, Hisense adds a setting to adjust LED brightness via a firmware update, but until then, you have to weigh guaranteed privacy against this possible distraction. Modest gaming performance. Gamers won't find many extras on the Uzix A. It supports variable refresh rate, VRR, but its 60HC panel isn't too impressive and doesn't support either AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync. The TV input lag is also a bit high. In game mode, we measured latency of 11.1 milliseconds using an HD Fury Diva H. This won't ruin your games and would even have been considered excellent a few years ago. But it doesn't reach the 10 threshold we currently use to decide if a TV is best for gaming. A budget price tip. The Hisense Uzix H offers some of the best colors we've seen in a budget price. Moreover, you get a Google TV interface that supports Apple AirPlay, Google Chromecast, and hands-free Google Assistant. The TV modest contrast holds it back from the truly impressive visual heights of last year's higher tier UIG, but the upcoming UIH might fill the niche for a bit more money. The list price for the 65-inch model of the Uzix H is already reasonable, but we've seen it on sale for several hundred dollars off. 
at which it's an absolute steal despite its minor visual shortcomings. Otherwise, you could spend a bit more for the far brighter, more contrasty Hisense UI G or TCL6 Series 4. We have yet to test the UI Edge, but it looks like another promising option. But considering the UX H performance relative to those pricier TV, it earns our editor's choice award for budget TV. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure if you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.